Many people on the right claim masks are a violation of their constitutional freedom, and some men feel that wearing them is emasculating and a sign of weakness. In fact, men are less likely to wear masks than women, leading some to view them as the condoms of the face. Which makes sense, because the ones I use glow in the dark and feature an off-brand Bart Simpson. But what's most dangerous is the proliferation of false medical information and conspiracy theories on social media, including one ridiculous claim that coronavirus is actually activated by masks. I mean, that's just not true. Coronavirus is activated by taking the Lord's name in vain, goddammit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you caught it. This spread of misinformation is an actual crisis that's causing real panic, which you can tell by the extremely calm and civil way some anti-maskers have treated public health officials. At a commissioner's meeting in Florida's Palm Beach County, anger erupted after a unanimous vote to make masks mandatory. You literally cannot mandate somebody to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people. It literally is killing people. And my, the people, we the people, are waking up up and we know what citizens arrest is and every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested and you doctor are going to be arrested for crimes against humanity on one hand that is terrifying on the other i finally have a kick-ass acting monologue and you doctor are going to be arrested for crimes against humanity what? I got the part. I'm going to be the new Alphaba on Wicked Zoom? Suck it, this show. Meanwhile, at least 24 public health officials have quit or been fired during the pandemic, while others are getting sent death threats just for doing their jobs. In California alone, at least seven health officials have left their posts. I mean, you can't just have seven people leave their jobs. If all seven dwarfs had left after Snow White got sick eating that apple, who would have put her body in a glass coffin so the prince could kiss her year-old corpse? To be fair, a lot of the confusion surrounding masks came from health experts' reluctance to ask people to wear them early on. You tweeted, in all caps, seriously people stop buying masks. You said they were not effective. Do you regret saying that? Well, it's important for people to understand that once upon a time, we prescribed cigarettes for asthmatics and leeches and cocaine and heroin for people as medical treatments. When we learn better, we do better. And we have learned better. We've learned that you have to get the leeches to do a line of coke before they can work efficiently. Early initial recommendations were intended to prevent shortages for healthcare workers, but our understanding of this virus has changed massively in just a short period of time. Now we know that everyone should wear a mask in public, and wearing it around your chin or your neck doesn't count. I mean, unless you're a shark, then it makes complete sense. I guess you could say that shark is dressed to the gills. Look, the goal of these rules isn't to criminalize not wearing a mask. It's to send a message that wearing a mask is extremely important. We should be normalizing masks as part of polite society, the same way we treat wearing a seatbelt or not smoking indoors or, and I can't emphasize this enough, not changing the channel from TBS after Big Bang Theory. They send me a list of the people who do that, Dad. Masks should not be a culture war. It would be great if we could just get conservatives to wear masks if we made them say shit like, my other mask is a gun, or I drive trucks and eat ass and I'm all out of trucks. They could save lives and, more importantly, let people know what happens when they're all out of trucks. But no matter what happens, we should all be covering up and we should all be taking care of each other. That's why Full Frontal is now selling our own masks with a portion of the proceeds going to Feeding America. You can buy them by going to shoptbs.com and wear them to tell everyone Science is my co-pilot. Well, that and the fact that you're a nerd. If you like this video, hit subscribe and let me know in the comments below. And if you didn't like this video, I'm sure you've already left a comment. Thank you so much.